say is the shit. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. And you get filthy when that liquor get into you. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. You know, I'm from uh, New York originally. I've, I've lived here for most of my adult life. Um, you know, my, my entire family sings. We moved down here when I was about 10 years old or about to turn 10. You know, my entire family sings, like I said. So I have been around music my entire life. Um, you know, kind of growing up around that has made me into the artist that I am today. I, so I it's never been a question of you know what do you want to do in life it's always just been i want to do music there's never been a question to it just because i've i've grown up around it and my my environment has kind of been that my entire life yeah i i guess who introduced me to music um i keep going back to this would have to be my my mom and dad um just because at a very young age you know they had me calling into radio stations and and singing for the people that were doing the the radio shows and you know uh you know my parents always kind of instilled that in me until we finally got to a point where i was asked to to sing at uh the bob Carr in orlando when i was in uh, third grade second grade somewhere around there um they asked me to sing the national anthem and you know, so I, I would have to attribute it to that chorus teacher as well, because I didn't know. I told her no right off the bat. I was like, "You're crazy. I can't sing. I don't know anything about singing." And then, you know, I went home and told my parents. I said no, and they said, "What are you crazy? Go back and say yes." And that was it. I said yes, and then I sang ever since that moment. My favorite track that I've ever done, um, original track, would have to be uh, a track that I did with with a friend of mine, Frank Friend. Uh, and I don't use a lot of guest producers, so this is one of the first time that I've actually, you know, branched out and done a song with another producer other than myself. I like to kind of keep it in house, but I, I did a track with with Frank called uh, "No Words." And a lot of people know it at this point, but it's um, you know, it's really acoustic R&B, like still kind of an alternative feel. Frank put his whole little splash of flavor on it. Frank's a super, super, super talented musician. Every time I find myself staring in your eyes. Get lost in the maze of amazement. Yeah. So that's got to be my all-time favorite track that I've done to date because it still stands up and it's been around for a couple years now and people still love it. I still love it. So it's got to say something about the track. Day that I have nothing to do but music. Um, first thing I, I do is I wake up. I uh, I usually uh, hit the gym first, just because if I get up and go straight into the studio for some reason, my vocal cords don't like to do what I'm telling them to do. So I go up, you know, kind of get active, get going, hit the gym, come back, um, and then get started. I get my bowl of honey nut Cheerios and we get to work. Um, you know, I I usually start by if I don't have a beat already that a producer has sent me out, I'll, I'll sit here and just kind of start playing the piano um, and we'll just kind of see where the melody, the chords that I'm playing take me and once I find a nice little pocket that I like, I lay down that, that pocket, those, that chord progression, put drums to it, start building a track. Um, if I like it within the first 20-30 minutes, I'll stick with it. If I hate it, I'll move on to the next one. So more often than not, I'll make like, I'll probably hate 8 out of 10 beats that I make. And the other two though I'll, I'll fall in love with and I'll write something to it if I you know if I have my entire day that I can just spend making music I'll write that entire song that they recorded that night and have you a finished track by early that morning um, 
just because that's that's how it works over here. I like to produce from scratch. I like to you know make nothing or make something out of nothing rather. Uh, you know, turn thin air into uh, a piece of art, if you will. What's up, everybody? My name is Jimmy Ventura. Make sure you go download my mixtape, Active Fool Friday, on JimmyVentura.com. Be looking for updates there. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Jimmy Supras, J I M M Y S U P R A S. Same handle for Instagram. Shout out to RR Productions, and I am a music mind. About you. It's like I'm sleeping, it's like I'm dreaming, and I don't ever want any of this to stop.